What's up boys and girls? In this episode we're going to talk about the audio in general in Unity and its components. Let's go! The music and the audio in the game is as important as the gameplay and the design. So having a proper audio in your game will give a big factor for your game. So let's talk about the main elements in the editor. So if you want to talk about the how to play so sounds, how to listen to sounds, how to edit sounds, we're going to talk about three features or three components in the editor. The first thing is audio listener, audio source, and audio mixer. Audio listener is, I think you've seen it all the time. It comes with a default main camera. It has this headphone icon. It's the basic element and an important element in the game. It has to be enabled to listen to sounds. And the second thing is the audio source. The audio source is something that I'm sure you've went with. Let's go with test. And inside we go audio source. Audio source is the basically the main container for your audio files. And in Unity, uh, you can uh, add files to your asset folder and it supports the, uh, the WAV, MB4, OGG, and I think another one, I think I AIFF, I'm not sure, but the, the generic ones like WAVE and MB3 and uh, whenever you have the audio source you have all these features inside all these elements the most important stuff are the audio clip from where you can put the actual file inside the output and this will be the audio mixer we will explain in a bit and mute multiple features here play on awake which means play on when it starts loop so it just loops it priority which is same as layering, the lower value the more high priority to play if you have multiple sounds. The volume, pitch and the panning which is left and right it, it's actually very important for uh, uh, you know when you have um, when you play a headphones game or something or multiple you have a stereo system and of course the 2D and 3D sound from which uh, the 2D it plays on both le on both you know in a both you know if you have a stereo type of, of speakers or headphones it plays on both and 3d it depends on which direction is the sound located in the scene and where's the listener itself so uh, and of course the 3d settings from which you can have uh, set the, the roll off or the fall off of the sound from the listener to where it actually falls off we're gonna uh, tinker with all these stuff when we uh, when you start create our own sound system and the third thing and the last thing is the audio mixer if you go into the window audio audio mixer we have this window in here and it's a really cool feature we didn't have I didn't have this in uh, really old versions but it helped a lot with handling sound systems and then um, grouping up things like sound effects footsteps shooting ambient music so we can have all these stuff when you have it like this, it's empty. All you have to do is create an audio mixer. Let's create one, call it mixer one. And by default, it adds it to the root folder of your project. So one of the important things to see in here is we have three sections, right? We have the groups, snapshots, and views. We're gonna talk about the groups first. So as as every group, uh, audio mixer, or every game, right? You have a lot of sounds. You have music, you have UI sounds, and you have sound effects. Probably you can have more in-depth stuff like footsteps, which is a sound effect. You can have uh, weapon sound effects. You can have, uh, you know, all these things. Uh, and then in the music, you can have ambient, you can have menu music, and you can have all these things. So w the easier way of handling all these stuff is to have groups. So the master is where all the sounds output, right? But what we can do is we can right click, click add child or click this plus button. And what this is gonna do is can create another sub child, subgroup of the master. Let's call it SFX, sound effects. And let's create another child called music. And the cool thing is you can have sub children of a sub of a children. So what we can do here, we can have another child of SFX. Let's call it uh, you know what let's call it uh, UI and here we can call it uh, character right so these are just for 
for you know for testing reasons. And we have we have here menu, and let's create another one. Call it uh, game. All right. So we have these groups in here, right? We have the sound effects, and we've got inside of it UI and character. And in music, we have menu and game. You can uh, name it whatever you want; it's, it doesn't matter. So we can see whenever we add these groups, we have these elements in the right side. And I'm not a music expert, but I know these are the decibel values of each one of the groups. For example, this one is outputting for all of the rest. And uh, you can change separately to each one of them. You can have them, uh, you know, bypassed, uh, muted, soloed. You can also add the effects on each group if you want, or make them global. It's all up to you how you want to use it. And uh, that's basically the grouping of the audio mixer. The second thing is snapshot. Snapshot is uh, uh, how can I explain it? It's a state of parameters. For your current OG mixer. So right now, let's rename this into General Snapshot and create another one. Call it uh, Music Focus, for example. Right? Yeah. If I can write properly, Music Focus. Another one is call it uh, uh, Cutscene. Right? So in cutscenes, I want the sound of the player be higher than everything else. But in music, I want the music to be higher, to be more, you know. Hearable. Like I want to listen to music more than anything else. So what it does is, right now you don't see the difference, right? And the the star here means this one is a default, which is good. So let's go to the music focus. So in the music focus, I want. So we can do it either way. So what I'm going to do, I'm going to decrease this one to minus 10. 10. Actually, let's keep it. I'm going to decrease the SFX to minus 10 because these are children of it, and I'm going to increase the music to plus 10 so what this means whatever is playing in here the music as like the music sounds will be 10 decibels higher but the SFX sounds will be 10 decibels lower so we can hear more the music cutscenes I want the opposite but I want to be more specific so what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna reduce the music just for the sake of tutorial I'm gonna increase actually I'm gonna, I'm gonna increase it I'm gonna decrease the, the UI or like whatever else we have so I'll, in here what we see is we have focused more on the character sound itself so I didn't change this so it remains the same and when we click on them we can see the values preset so this can be used during runtime of the game from which you can transit from a state to another and it's called snapshots last but not least is views views is really useful when you have a lot of groups that doesn't fit in here because you can have to scroll down and look up for all of them it helps with handling them separately so what I'm gonna do is we have the default one I'm gonna call it general like I can call it default actually better and let's create another one call it SFX one music great so if we click on, on them nothing is different so let's go on SFX and what we're gonna do is we're gonna hide the music in here right and the game menu and the game so what, what we've done here we we prioritize that we need to show only the SFX of course with the master and in the music we're gonna do the opposite so I'm gonna hide the SFX and it's all children so we have this stuff so with this we can have more control of what you wanna do and edit and also there's a cool thing you can do in here for example uh, in SFX I can right click in here I can add the red color and the music and add the yellow color and you know it's just depends on what you want. It's just that how you like to be colored, <laughs> just tagged. And uh, this is all for the audio mixer. And uh, we talked about effects, right? We can add effects to each group. But if you're working with a simple game with not a lot of sounds, so you don't really need to use the audio mixer. You can use only audio source, and you can play them from scripts or something. You can also have you also have here effects. Which are here, like chorus, echo, low, fast, reverb. You can put them here, but you can add them without the audio source. So make sure you have the audio source; otherwise, it's gonna throw an error. And uh, that's it. You can easily grab the mixer and put it in output in here. Sorry.
right, not the mixer. You, you can you can have to click this one here and choose which channel or group you want to. For example, this one say this is gonna have ambient, so I'm gonna go with music of the game. So that's it. And whatever is in here is gonna play. So this whole thing will play according to the features in here. Uh, with this, um, we have ourselves enough knowledge of how the OG is integrated in Unity, how does it work. But in the next episode, we're going to build our simple sound system, which is going to be used in this game with a couple of sounds and music. It's going to be awesome. If you like this video, show some love, hit the like and subscribe so I can keep creating tutorials for you. And uh, if you got any more questions, uh, please hit the, the comment below. Also, would you like to hear your uh, OG, like your opinions about the OG source and the um, OG mixer if you have any questions about or difficulty about that then please also hit the, the comment section and uh, also join our discord channel in the description you can find the link other than this uh, I want to say thank you and I'll see you in the next one bye bye